We saw that we can list processes, sort them out, and even terminate them whenever they demand too much resources. On our last part of knowing your processes, we will see how we can, in one CLI command, see the topmost CPU demanding processes. <music> To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. One of the features that we saw using the DAG system command is that we can list the most demanding uh, processes, either CPU and memory using the M and the P character when it is pressed. Now, there is another command, which is the get system performance top, which lists only uh, the most demanding CPU processes. Let's see it in action. So we use the get sys, sorry for that, get sys performance top now you will see the most demanding processes the most CPU demanding processes at the second most right column that's the CPU column the most right column is, as we know, the memory column. Now you will see different processes such as the IPS engine or the antivirus scanner, the new CLI or even the SSHD, the SSH daemon. Now, whenever a process is too demanding in terms of CPU, you may need to kill that process and we saw how to do it using the diag sys kill with a signal level and the process id